Hi, my name is Matthew Varner, and my partner's name is Jose Contreras, and for the STEM Expo, we are going to be doing our own e-STEM speedboat race. Let's get into it. Okay, so these are all our materials. So first off, we have the bucket. This is what we're going to be using as the main um, racetrack course, and what we're going to do is we're going to set up a divider in the middle so we can have two different lanes so the boats can race against each other. The next material we have is a piece of is some duct tape. The duct tape will be used to hold down the barrier that is going to go right here to create the two different lanes. And the duct tape will also be used to keep the sails attached to the boats. The next materials we have are some pool noodles. One of these noodles will be used as a barrier and the thicker pool noodle right here will be used to create our own boats. We have a tape measure to do all the measurements to enough to cut the pool noodle to make the barrier. We have our wooden skewers. These will be the main thing for our boat that will hold our sail. We have our shawls, which will act as the engine, which um, the participants can blow into the shawl, which will push the boat. Then we have some standard masking tape, which we will be used on the boat since it is not as strong as duct tape and a lot lighter. Two pairs of scissors. These scissors are going to be used to cut the wooden skewers to make them smaller for the boat. And this, these thicker pair of scissors will be used to cut the pool noodle. Some paper, which will be used as our sails. And then we have our sponges, which will be our second prototype for our boat. So we're going to be making pool noodle boats. And then also we're going to be using the sponges as another um, type of boat to see which one is faster and to compare that. And then we also have a phone right here. We could have also used a clock, but we're using a phone to time it to see how long it takes for the boats to get from one end to the other side. And these are all our materials. Now we can get started on the building process. So for the first step of building the boat track for the race, what we're going to do is we're going to take our measuring tape and measure it down the middle so we can get one of our pool noodles to create the barrier and get an even cut. So as you can see right here, we take it from one end, which is on the inside, is about right here. We're going to start from right here at the corner and go all the way a bit to the top. We could say about 34 inches, 33 inches and a half. So once we do, once we have that info, what we're going to do is we're going to take our pool noodle right here. And we're going to take a pair of scissors and we're going to cut the pool noodle. Okay, and now that we have our pool noodle, which we have cut based on the length that we need for the center of the divider, we measure the pool noodle. And as you can see right here, it is around 31 inches, which is good. We don't want it to be exactly 33 just because we want it to be able to fit in there. So we take the 31 inches and we push it a little bit down. And as you can see, the pool noodle fits perfectly and will act as the center divider for the boat track race. And now we are going to fill it up with water and start the next process. Okay, so now that we have filled the tub up with water, we put our barrier in the middle. And our next step with what we did is we got some of our masking duct tape and we taped each end of the pool noodle, as you can see right here, from here to here. And now we can start with the building process of our boats. Now that we have the structure, let's get started on building the first boat. So the first prototype boat we're going to have is we're going to build building a boat out of this jumbo pool noodle, as you can see. So what we're going to do is we're going to be making a half circle. And how we're, this will be the main structure of the first boat that we're doing. How we're going to do this is you measure about a good, with the measuring tape, you want to get about three to four inches and you make your first incision right there in the middle. Once you do that, we remove the measuring tape and just nice and gently cut around the pool noodle. Now that we have the main structure, we're going to cut down the middle. And then we're going to open it up and cut about an inch on the inside, not too much. Just enough so we can end up with the final product being a half circle, just like this. Our next step, we'll be taking one of these wooden skewers, taking our measuring tape, a good about five inches, you can just kind of eyeball it as you can see right there. Taking our scissors, just making a nice cut right there. Nice, good mark. And now that we have our post for the sail, just gently push it in, out in the middle. And this will be the structure for the sail. So what we're gonna be doing next is our sail. So what we wanna do is start building by the building process. We're gonna start from right here, about a good quarter from the paper, from the edge right here. And we're gonna angle it towards the top left corner, like a rainbow, as you can see right here. Stop once you get about halfway to the paper. We don't want the sail to be too big. And then 
we're going to angle it back down towards this right hand corner on this side. And then you're gonna stop about halfway until you meet the end of this paper over here and do the same exact thing as you did right here to finish it off, angle it towards the left corner and you should end up with the sail type of shape, just as seen right here. So what we did next is we took our sail and we punctured a little hole. What you do is you angle it towards the bottom and you puncture a little hole and which you take the top piece and fold it back over and punch a little hole in the wooden skewer. And it should stay as this sail shape. This will be used to push the boat towards the other side. The first prototype boat is now done. This is our pool little boat. This is what we'll be using first. And now we will move on to the second type of boat we will be building, which will be a sponge boat. We're going to, what we are going to be testing here is to see which boat will be faster within the racetrack over here. So what we're going to do is the same process that we did for the pool noodle boat. We're going to take a wooden skewer, take our measuring tape and measure about a good five inches. Take the scissors, make some nice incision right there. And then to just snap off. Just like that. What we do with this is we make a hole in the middle and then we create our sail. What we do by creating our sail is the same exact thing. Angle it towards the outside, cut a little bit back in towards the right, and then go a little bit down to get the sail shape hypothesis between the two boats is that the pool noodle boat will be faster since it is lighter compared to the sponge boat which over time does absorb water and becomes heavier. We're going to take our shot and blow the sponge boat to the other side and see how long it takes with our timer right here. And as we can see it took about 8.94 seconds. And now we're going to test the first boat we built which is the pool noodle boat to see how long it takes to get from this side to the other side with the timer we have right here. And as we can see, it took about 6.55 seconds and was about two seconds faster. And for our final trial, we will now be racing the boats. Our hypothesis was proved incorrect due to the sponge boat winning. Although we thought the sponge boat would be slower due to it absorbing more water, it actually used that weight instead to flow through the water faster and to get to the other side quicker than the pool noodle boat. Our ESTEM activity for the expo gives the audience a bit of insight into the science and engineering parts of STEM. Science because it teaches them about aerodynamics and the power of wind to be able to blow the boat with the straw from one side to the other side within the fastest amount of time they possibly can. And then it also teaches them about the buoyancy, how the boats and the materials we use stay afloat throughout the whole process in the race. It also gives insight to the engineering part, as I mentioned. Engineering because they can be creative and decide where they want to place a sail. If they want to place it closer or further up, they can be creative with that to see if there's different methods of making their boats faster. Because engineering is all about a process of trial and error. So they can do processes of trial and error during the experiment to see if they can make their time faster and faster than the other participants. And also for the engineering part, for our future steps, we would like to further improve that by having more prototypes and more materials to see if there is a faster material prototype that we can build that beats the ones we currently already have. Thank you for your time.